Hi, my name's Lavana, and today we're going to be working on the Harry Potter wish bracelets. The things that you're going to need are the charm bead and the strings that we have provided for you. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is just take your strings off of this little loop. You should have two different colors based on the house. Once you have your strings taken off of the little loop, you're going to just Put your strings together make sure they're lined up at the ends sometimes you might have to just twist them together so that they don't unravel so i'm just going to go through and like twist them all right once they're all pretty much straight like this you're going to take your charm and you're going to slip it through the string sometimes again you might have to just twist the end of the string so that it's easier to go through the charm Once you've threaded it, you're going to try to get it as close to the middle as possible. So you could always put it to the middle and try to measure off the ends and make sure it's kind of even. So what I'm doing is just measuring off the ends, making sure that these are in the middle. And then what you're going to do is tie a knot on each end of, this, of the charm. You might have to tie a couple knots just so that the bead doesn't slip through. I think I had to tie about three or four on the last one that I made. So just tie a few knots and see how the bead fits. If it's going, feels like it's gonna slip through. I tied two and it feels like it's gonna be pretty good. So I feel like two should be fine. But if it feels like it might slip through, you might need to tie another one. Try to make sure that the knots are on top of each other. That'll make them get a little bit bigger so that the bead won't slip through. And sometimes the second knot gets a little hard because you want to get it as close to the bead so that it doesn't move around too much. And once you've got your two knots on both ends, Just like this with the charm in the middle we'll move on to the next step all right so the next thing we're gonna do is the fisherman knot at the end of the bracelet it, this is a little bit confusing so take your time restart the video if you have to and the first thing you're gonna do is take this bottom uh, string and you're gonna kind of cross it across the top string the best way to do this I found out is to use your finger to kind of loop it around so you're gonna take your finger, kind of hold it right above, and you're gonna make an X. So first loop, and then you're gonna cross it over the second loop, and there you go, you see that X right here? And then you're gonna go again, right underneath. So once you have this first loop, you have the second loop, and you're gonna go again underneath this um, bottom string, and you're gonna have to kind of cross it when you kind of, so you have this little X right here, you're gonna take this little end of the string and you're gonna go through the X that you just made. And then once you get it through, you're gonna pull very slowly and make sure that the X kind of stays intact. Just like that. All right, so once you have your first loop, we're gonna have to make our second loop. So with the other string, you're going to make the same kind of X. So you're gonna take this string, loop it underneath, and again, use your finger to help you because sometimes it helps to make that X. And put it like that, so there's that first loop. Then cross it over to make the second loop, and that's your X. So you have an X right there, right on my finger. And when you're gonna cross it again, and you're gonna to have to go right through that center of the X. So kind of thread it through. It's gonna kind of look like this. And then remember, you're gonna slowly pull that through to still, you see that X right there. You wanna slowly pull that so that the X stays intact. Just 
just like that. And there we have our knots. So now you could take this bracelet and you could always pull it out to make it tighter. And to make it kind of, you make it looser, you're just gonna take the two ends and just put them closer together. And that's how you put it on.